So guys, this next news story, the gang who carried out a daring and brutal cocaine robbery are now believed to be targets behind bars. Jason and Craig Cox were both brothers, joined forces with Richard Caswell, a gangster from Liverpool, to steal £1 million worth of drugs in an armed raid. They stole the drugs from a stash house which was used by one of the biggest crime groups in Merseyside. All these men have now since been locked up, though police are preparing for further potential retribution. Back in 2020, whilst the UK was still in the first lockdown, a white van pulled up outside a semi-detached house in Liverpool. Inside the vehicle were the three dealers, the Cox brothers and Caswell, as well as a low-level Cox henchman, Benjamin Monks Gorton. The group were armed with an axe and a machete and other weapons. Their target was a stash house in Liverpool which was used by one of the biggest crime groups in Merseyside, a firm which had in fact supplied the three dealers with wholesale quantities of cocaine and a firm that was not to be messed with. Monks Gorton was described by Jason Cox as a wool from Burnley and he approached the front door in a high-vis jacket with a Covid mask covering his face in an attempt to pose as a delivery driver. However, that proved unnecessary as the door was already open and the men rushed inside. They were faced with the father and son and they launched a savage attack. The father, he was severely wounded. He almost lost his arm, which was slashed down to the bone. At around nine o'clock in the morning on the day of the robbery, which was May the 23rd in 2020, the son called 999 saying these lads just came into the house and they started stabbing me, dad, and there's blood everywhere. What the two victims did not mention was the fact that the attackers had left the scene with a bag containing around one million pounds worth of cocaine, the criminal property off their fearsome bosses. Jason and Craig Cox, Caswell and Monks Gorton fled the scene and took their haul back to an address in Warrington. Some of those drugs were later supplied to Leon Atkinson, who was a pal of Dale Cregan. The messages between the Cox brothers and their henchmen showed a mix of bravado in those messages Jason Cox asked one of the henchmen Michael Nevin to move their share of the stolen cocaine demanded silence the prosecutor told the sentence hearing at Manchester Crown Court when Mr Nevin confirmed he was on his way to Jason Cox's address Craig Cox warned Mr Nevin that this has to be kept quiet and not to be mentioned to anyone the reason behind this was because even if the slightest whisperer had got out and that this gang had found out that Coxes had been involved there would have been big consequences Jason Cox also asked his brother Lee where he could help him rent a flat in case the Liverpool firm worked out that they were behind the robbery. However, he also bragged, I know where the main man lives. I'll go and empty a full clip in his face and show them what time it is. Caswell was also playing a dangerous game as the Liverpool firm desperately tried to work out who had ripped them off. They asked him directly for information and said they had managed to get CCTV off the van and off a grey Audi which was used by Jason Cox to spy on the stash house in the days before the robbery. Caswell, he played dumb and he said he would ask around but passed on what they had told him to Jason Cox. Jason told Lee, his traveller mate, which was Monks Gorton, he dropped his surgical mask in the house. However, he added, his face will be on CCTV but he's from Burnley. No one will know him. He's a wool. While the gang kept their fingers crossed that the fearsome group they had robbed did not suspect them, the police already a head start thanks to the Hack of the Encro chat encrypted phone service. At the time of the robbery, the Cox brothers, along with their brother Lee, who was not in the van at the time, were a notorious drug trafficking family based in Salford. Liverpool man Caswell had his own lucrative business selling kilos of heroin and cocaine. They all used Encro chat phones to conduct their business, and as we know, that, that system was hacked by French authorities in early 2020 and it gave the cops unrestricted access to all their messages. That information from Encro chat showed how Caswell, who was nicknamed Will due to his resemblance to Will Young, the pop star, first suggested the plan of ripping off his own suppliers. So back on March the 28th, 2020, one of the members of this Liverpool firm sent a message to Caswell. Caswell was asked if he could sell for cash. The prosecutor told the court the message was a request for Caswell to source any customers willing to buy cocaine for cash rather than on credit. Caswell said he would lick into it and asked how much the group was selling for and he was told £41,000 and that it would have to be picked up from Liverpool. Using his Encro device, Caswell then messaged Jason Cox, who used the handle Nova Belt. The prosecutor said Jason Cox and Richard Caswell 
had set about a concerted plan to rob the Liverpool organised crime group. They began to take real steps to further that plot to put trackers on vehicles, to undertake a number of reconnaissance visits and to look at where the stash house was, the amounts and when it was best to strike. In messages that were recovered on Encroach at Caswell described a member of the Liverpool gang they went to rob as a horrible. In a message Jason said, if we get his driver, do you think you'll be the main man to get access to the gaff with it all in? And he added, I would even be up for killing him if needs be. The pair discussed whether the Liverpool firm would be wary of tracking device and Caswell said yes. They've been at it for years. If they suspect us, they would put us on lie detector. We need to be spot on with this. Describing the Liverpool gang, Caswell said, these guys proper smash it the big time. Caswell arranged to sell some of the Liverpool gang's cocaine to a buyer and then tail the delivery man back to the stash house. The group planned the robbery carefully taking five reconnaissance trips to work out the movements of their target and kept an eye on how much cocaine was being delivered. But the surgical mask dropped by Monks Gorton was tested for DNA and the EncroChat messages shared by all the main players clearly outlined their roles in the heist. The fallout when the facts became known was seismic in the underworld. Arson attacks at properties linked to the Cox family were reported to Greater Manchester Police while Caswell was slashed in HMP Manchester. However, Caswell did not cooperate with an investigation into that incident. In court last week, lawyers for both Caswell and Jason Cox said their clients had become targets since their roles in the robbery were made public. Detective Inspector Roger Smetters from Great Manchester Police of the Cox brothers were now under pressure due to their involvement in the robbery. He said not only for the prison system in how they manage these people within the prison network, they tried to keep them safe but also in terms of the wider family. We do know that once the Liverpool organised crime group found out about the Cox's involvement, there were then a number of arson attacks in Salford against vehicles and premises linked to the Cox family while Jason and Lee were in Spain. Great Manchester Police has issued a number of threats to life, warnings to people and are preparing for further potential retribution. They're also working closely with the prison service. So the Cox brothers alongside Lee Cox also admitted being involved in large-scale drug dealing being linked to more than 20 kilos of cocaine and 50 kilos of cannabis. Jason Cox jailed for 14 years and 8 months after pleading guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine and cannabis, conspiracy to possess criminal property and conspiracy to commit robbery. Craig Cox was sentenced to 13 years and 6 months in jail after he also pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine and cannabis, conspiracy to possess criminal property and conspiracy to commit robbery. Lee Cox has been sentenced to 8 years Richard Caswell, he's been jailed for seven years. So guys, here's an update on a new story that I've previously reported on. Once again, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button on this video. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.